Before a wire may be used on an aircraft, it must successfully pass a rigorous set of independent tests designed to ensure that the relevant construction specifications are met. One of the tests is the wet arc track resistance test. When a wire's insulation degrades, it may expose a portion of the wire's conductor. This is also known as a breach. A breach can lead to an electrical arcing event where electrical current escapes from the exposed wire and transfers energy to surrounding objects. Damage to the surrounding areas is called collateral damage. The wet arc track resistance test is specifically designed to investigate the collateral damage and the propensity for electrical arc tracking. The amount of collateral damage resulting from a breach is largely affected by the wire construction and the insulation material used. For example, some materials, such as aromatic polyamide, have a tendency to cause considerable collateral damage, whereas materials such as PTFE typically cause very limited damage to the surrounding areas. The wet arc track resistance test utilizes a wire bundle composed of seven individual wires bound together in a circular configuration. A small section of the insulation is removed from each of the top two wires to create a breach. The wire bundle is then connected to a power source through a predefined resistance. Finally, a saline solution is dropped periodically on the breaches for eight consecutive hours. This is a time-lapse video of an actual wet arc track resistance test. When each saline drop strikes the pair of breaches, a conductive path is created between the wires. Almost immediately, the drop is vaporized by the electrical current flowing through it, resulting in a microscopic electric arc. Each arc creates an audible pop and damages the conductor and the insulation of both wires. The repeated damage is visible in this time-lapse video as the gradual increase in discoloration of the insulation surfaces. The discoloration is the result of carbon buildup created as a byproduct of the arc, and its coverage shows the area exposed to arc impact during the test. The test completes either when there is a sustained arcing event that damages the other wires in the bundle, or when the eight-hour time limit has been reached without failure. The results from the wet arc track resistance test are combined with those from the other 14 wet arc track resistance tests to determine if the wire construction satisfies the relevant construction specifications and hence if it may be used on an aircraft. Thank you for watching this video presentation on wet arc track resistance testing by Electromech. For more information on wire specification testing and arc damage research, please visit us on the web at www.lectromech.com.